So we're going to be looking at the gradient of linear equations and we're going to be looking at three formulas for them. Now you should already know two formulas, I'm introducing a third one today. So the first formula should be very familiar, rise over run. So if I've got my two points here and here, I can draw a right angle triangle here. And if I want to find the gradient of this, I just do m equals rise. Now, how far up did we go? We went from negative 4 up to positive 4. So we've got a rise here of 8 over a run. We went from negative 2 to 5. All right, our gradient is 8 over 7. We can leave it as a fraction. I guess we could do it as a decimal. It's not very nice, though. It's 1.14 and a bunch of junk afterwards. In fact, that decimal is not going to be useful to us at all here. We're going to be very interested in fractions for a reason that's going to become apparent soon. Okay, that's formula number one, rise over run. There is a second formula that you should already know. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's essentially a uh, formalization of rise over run. Let's try it with these numbers here. Now, when I do this, I get confused a lot. So what I like to do is label these points x2, y2, and label these points x1, y1. Okay, let's get to work. y2 is 4, 4 minus, um, minus 4 over uh, x2 is 5 minus minus 2. Okay, and we get 4 minus minus 4, which is 4 plus 4, which is 8, and we get 5 minus minus 2, 5 plus 2, which is 7. This should not be a surprise. We've got two formulas that calculate the gradient, and they came to the same answer, 8 over 7. And now we're going to get to our third formula. So before I come right out and say the formula, trigonometry is our hint, and it's the space that we should be thinking in. We have a right angle triangle here, right? Now, look at what we did both times when it came to this triangle here. We did this length over this length here. We did rise over run. We did y2 minus y1, which just calculates the rise over run. Okay, when it comes to trigonometry, I can draw in an angle here. And suddenly, m rise over run doesn't become rise over run anymore it becomes opposite over adjacent so so far i haven't actually changed anything i don't have a new formula all i have is just different labeling opposite is obviously eight here and adjacent is equal to seven but think about your trigonometry opposite over adjacent equals tan theta which means that we, need, we get this neat thing here where the gradient is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is also equal to tan theta. Now, if m is equal to this is equal to this, that means that m is equal to this. We can essentially cut out the middleman, and we have our new formula. m is equal to tan theta. m is equal to the angle that the line makes with the horizontal. Okay, last little step here that I really need to show you is that this angle, theta, we can draw it in where I've drawn it in, but we can draw it anywhere along the horizontal, along the vertical, I should say, um, which means that there's a very neat, nice, obvious place to put it, which is right here. And we can see that these angles are corresponding angles. So what does all of this mean? So that's our new info. M equals tan theta, where theta is the angle between the line and the positive direction of the x-axis, between this bit here. And that can look a little bit funny when the line's going the other way. Speaking of which, you might get a question like this. We've got a line right here, we know an angle here, and we're trying to determine the gradient. Now we have a nice formula here, m equals tan theta, but it's important to remember what theta is. Theta is the angle between the line and the positive direction of the x-axis. So if you're not sure how to think about that, start with your, your pen facing, like right on the, on the edge here, and facing the positive direction of the x-axis. This is a good place, always start here. And then rotate it until you hit the line. 
rotate it until you hit the line. And always rotate it anti-clockwise. All right, when we rotate it, we get this angle here. And this is the angle that we use in this equation, not the angle that this question gave you. That's the wrong angle. We use this angle here, which obviously means now that m is going to be equal to 10 of that bit there. So let's think about what that bit is. Theta is equal to 180 degrees, a full straight line, minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. So m is equal to 10, 120. You've never dealt with uh, an angle greater than 90 degrees in uh, a trigonometry question, which is essentially what this is, but it'll work. So the gradient of this line is negative 1.73 to two decimal places. So that's linear equations, gradients, three different formulas, and they're all useful. You should use them when you need them.